Shutdown is being observed today in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir to mark the 39th martyrdom anniversary of prominent Kashmiri leader Muhammad Maqbool Bhatt. Call for the shutdown has been given by the All Party Suriyat Conference and Jammu and Kashmir Liberation Front. Indian Army and police had warned the shopkeepers to keep their shops open otherwise their outlets will be sealed however despite the threat shopkeepers in most parts of the valley are observing shutdown to remember their martyred leader illegally detained all party suriyat conference chairman musarat alam bhat and other senior leader shabir ahmed shah have paid glowing tributes to prominent kashmiri leader mohammad maqbool bhat on his 39th martyrdom anniversary today Musarra Talambat in a message from New Delhi's infamous Tihar jail said the Kashmiri people are duty bound to safeguard the martyr's sacrifice by taking their mission to logical conclusion. APHC AJK chapter convener Mahmood Ahmed Sagar and other leaders including Sheikh Abdul Mateen and Imtiaz Wani in a joint statement issued in Islamabad said that Muhammad Maqbool Bhatt was a great leader who infused a new spirit in the Kashmir freedom movement. Senior APHC AJK leader Muhammad Farooq Rehmani said the hanging of Muhammad Maqbool Bhatt by India was a judicial murder. Chairman of United Jihad Council Sayyid Salahuddin addressing a meeting in Muzaffarabad also paid homage to Muhammad Maqbool Bhatt. Chairman of Pasbane Hurriyat Jammu and Kashmir Uzair Ahmed Ghazali in a statement said the people of Kashmir will never forget his tireless struggle for the freedom of Kashmir from Indian oppression. People held protest demonstrations in Srinagar, Jammu and other areas against the ongoing eviction drives which is actually aimed at grabbing the land and properties of the Muslims and rendering them homeless. Large number of people participated in a sit-in protest at press enclave in Srinagar against the eviction drive. Pakistan has urged the international community to impress upon India to implement the relevant UN Security Council resolutions on Kashmir so that the Kashmiris can exercise their right to self-determination. Acting Foreign Secretary Mohammad Cyrus Qazi briefing the representatives of diplomatic missions in Islamabad on the situation in occupied Kashmir said durable peace in South Asia remains contingent upon peaceful resolutions of the Jammu and Kashmir dispute. Three persons including two women were injured in a fire incident in Poonch district. Injured were taken to hospital after which they were shifted to district hospital Poonch. Kashmir Valley and hilly areas of Jammu region on Saturday morning experienced a fresh spell of snowfall.